Namaste, assalamu alaikum, dosto. I'm here at Hafiz Market. This is the biggest and the best electronics and mobile market here in Lahore, Pakistan. We're going to explore it today. Let's find out how much things go for here in Pakistan. There's a couple of personal errands we need to run there. I have to get this Bluetooth headset fixed. So I really hope we can find someone talented there who can fix that headset for me. And then we need to go and get Zach a gift. I'm going to Zach's house tonight. So let's go get him a PlayStation 4 controller. His is broken. And they say about this place, it is the best place if you know what you're doing. But if you don't, it's the worst place to be. So I'll show you how to shop here and what to look out for when you're buying electronics here at this market. And as you guys can see from these sheets, this market, there was a huge fire there last year. So they're still renovating the upper floors of this market, but it's still the biggest place in Lahore to go to. And you can see like the Oppo sign is burned, for example. It was a huge fire that happened here. So here you've got lots of little stores like this. We can find little bits and pieces. So we have an, an Apple mouse here, very legitimate. And then you can also get, you know, chargers as well. And these are definitely recycled chargers. They've come from the rubbish and people have recycled. Apple mouse. So if you're thinking in Indian rupees, just divide it in half basically and you get the rupee, rupee equivalent. That is so cheap. Couple of bucks for a mouse, couple of bucks for the cable as well. So at the moment here, only three of the levels are open. You've got basement, first floor, second floor. Basement and first floor, it is all mobile phones and phone repairs. Then on the second floor here, you have laptop stores, networking stores, like general computing needs. And it would have gone up another three floors, as you can see. They're, they're fixing it, they're renovating it now, so this market will come back. Actually, all the shops that left from up here, they've just gone across the road. Across the road, there are a lot more towers and, and markets, but I'm pretty sure they'll all return here because this is just, it's an incredible one-stop shop for anything you need in terms of electronics and mobiles. Actually, I lied. So the other floors are still open. Some shops are open, not everything. But along here, you have computer stores and you have computer gaming stores too. So graphics cards and everything. And I mean, you can see these steel beams are holding this place together after the fire that would have caused some structural issues. Wow, it's all just, it's all just charred in there. And there's literally still wood on the floor here. Like charred wood, man. Yeah, this is the state of the market up here. You can see inside here, the whole place is just being gutted on these upper floors. One thing that's not so much here is cameras, but you can find like lights. If you're a YouTuber or a, or a fashion model, you'll get all this kind of stuff here too. And someone's playing some Punjabi music, some kind of guys rocking out in the cabin back there. Okay, say Ji Sab Tiga? Alhamdulillah. Bohut acha, bohut acha. Ye aapka to khane? Alhamdulillah. Acha. Kya bechte hai aap? Ham laptop accessory hai, iske alawa computer accessory hai. Naya ya second hand hai? Refurbished. Lot, lot, buy one. So this is my bro store who I, who I just met. And here, this is the kind of stuff you can find. You've got the microphone stand if you want that. All sorts of speakers. 
any cable you could ever want in your life, any cable. It's all there. You've got your keyboards. Everyone has used one of these Dell keyboards or these H keyboard, HP keyboards in their life. That's so all I use. And then more speakers, more speakers. Then up here, you have secondhand headsets, gaming headsets. And cables galore. Oh my God. Then power adapters. You want to find the right power adapter for your laptop, you come here, it'll help you find it. And this place is an absolute, it's just a, a labyrinth of, of stores. It's just, you can just get lost here. It's, man, it's, it's heaven if you love computers and electronics like I do. The stuff you can find here, how you can get everything repaired. It's just awesome. And the closest thing to this in India is Nehru Place. Nehru Place is exactly the same. And I've, I've already done multiple tours there. It's also a good place to get your games as well. So they'll load the games onto hard drives for you. GTA 5, Call of Duty, Watch Dogs, Far Cry 5, Resident Evil 7, The Witcher, all, all PC games that they'll copy onto the discs or hard drives for you. He's selling software. So... And all mobile software, apps, installations. Oh, apps as well. Apps and other, other solutions. Like Windows or Office like, or... Like Windows, huh. Android and Mac. Everything you sell? Everything. And games? And games. Wow, awesome. And how much is like, how much is Office? Different uh, problems, different prices. Okay, so games get naked? Games uh, depend on games. Oh, The Witcher? You have The Witcher? Witcher, get naked. 50 rupees? 100 rupees? 300 rupees. Okay. And software is similar, hey, no? 300 to 1000 rupees, hey, no? Okay, okay. Shukriya, Ji, Shukriya. Now at this market, there are the legitimate shops like the My Shop behind me. Then you just come up here and then you have, <laughs> this, is, this is funny. <laughs> you have the Apple Shop and yeah, it's not an Apple Shop. So you have these kind of kind of counterfeit shops as well, but you can get legitimate stuff here. But the majority of what you're gonna find here in terms of phones and computers and all electronics is gonna be a second-hand selection from the repairmen here who have fixed them up, who have brought them from people and fixed them and now they're reselling them. Kya bana rahe hai ji? Paint kar painting. This guy is, he does spray painting. Cool. Spray painting a laptop actually, giving it a, a new coat. Anything. Wow. So it's gonna look brand new. Brand new. Brand new. Wow. Awesome. Bohara Chaji. So that's how they can refurbish old laptops, old phones, give it a, literally a, a new coat of paint. Okay, Sayaji. Assalamu alaikum. More people kind of eating along here. And look, here's a finished, it looks like it's gonna be a MacBook. Bohara Chaji. Acha paint job. Just look at how brand new that looks. It looks absolutely brand new, insane. And just the detailing he's doing on it, he's covering up any little holes or cracks with the paint. So now you know why I say be careful and know what you're buying because, good G, good G. So now you know why I'm saying be careful with what you're buying because these guys are, are literally making secondhand products look brand new in this gully here. Abs, it's just, yeah. 
you've got to be an expert if you're going to come and shop here with the level of customization and the level of kind of fixing that these guys are doing to make things look brand new. And I've just found a dude, he's taking me to try and get this fixed. So let's see, thank you so much, G. All right, I found a store. It has been impossible to find an original PS4 controller here. So I have found this controller, it's a copy, but honestly, the feel is so damn good. It feels amazing. So um, I take this, 7,000 rupees. Yeah, best price, eh? Yeah, it's the best price. Okay, and he's saying that the original controller goes for about 16,000 rupees, but everybody just buys just buys this knockoff one because it works and feels the same. Just like the original one. Yeah, cool. All right, I'll take this. I feel bad buying my friend a knuckly controller, but <laughs> what can I do? Like, <laughs> this is my only this option right now. Here. And you can easily get fooled because these counterfeit controllers, uh, they're such good copies. They're amazing copies, actually. And even on the box, the box is even using Sony's logo as well. So the box can fool you. I honestly thought it was, was an original when I first saw it. But this guy's very honest. This guy told me, you know, it's, it's not a real one. I'll be honest, it's, it's a copy. And this store has absolutely everything. You've got all the Fitbits here, JBL headphones, hard drives, more headphones along here. Just, just everything. And you've got gimbals up the top here for when you're vlogging. We come along here, we've got full range of speakers. More headsets. Then we come over to the digital watches section. Galaxy watch and all. And some kind of random Chinese ones. This fake ass fitness tracker. And then headphones. Microphones for making YouTube videos. Boya, pretty popular Chinese brand. Portable hard drives here. More gaming headsets. These are my favorite headphones, these Sonys. And you've got the Bose noise canceling there as well. Let me come over, PlayStation controller. Xbox controller as well. And now I'm just hanging out in the store. I got a tea because whenever you're in a store like this, at a market like this in Pakistan or India, you buy something and you sit and have a tea. People will offer you to hang out and have a tea with them. So that's how it is. So we're just sitting there having a tea. Assalamu alaikum ji. Hi. Hello, everyone. Uh, you have to say the tea is fantastic. Why? Yes. Nay, 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 nay. I know what you're trying to make me do. <laughs> you just have to say. People. No, I'm not going to troll India. Phone. I'm not going to oh. troll India. You know, I, I actually, in a video, I said this. I said yeah, this in but Islamabad. It's not bad thing. But I didn't know it's what. Not I, it's not I, bad thing. I didn't know what I was saying in that video. I had no idea on the reference on that. And I said it by mistake. The the and then you guys told me, I'm like, oh my god, I can't believe I said that. <laughs> the tea is good. What? Just good? No, the, no, no, the tea in India is better. In, Indian tea is better, sorry bro. But, the, but their soldiers <laughs> drink from here. Hey, chup. <laughs> Alright, this guy also helped me find someone to fix my Bluetooth headset. And it's getting fixed, 3,000 rupees, and the guy's going to take it apart and uh, change out the micro USB jack. And so yeah, that'll get done in the next three or four hours. I'll come back here and let's, let's see if it works, right? Okay, bro, I have one thing to say to you. Yeah. Jehan. Oh. Look at his face. <laughs> I, don't, I don't care, I don't mind. Now this is the mobile phone <laughs> section. Just really, really. I mean, there's multiple different lanes here. It's just huge. There must be thousands of stores here, yeah? <laughs> that guy said something about being crazy and I just asked him, what did you say? He just kept walking. And uh, anyway, back to the market tour. And you'll see in the, in the shop windows here, 
you have all the different phones which are available and tons of iPhones are available here. And I'll tell you how you can tell if they're refurbished. The backs are different. Someone's dropped it and the back's shattered and the backs aren't the normal backs. They might be missing a logo, they might be missing all that little small fine print at the bottom. They might have a totally different style of back as well. So that's how you can tell if it's a refurbished phone. It just looks a little, little different. They haven't used the official parts when they've fixed the product. They've actually used like cheap Chinese knockoff parts. So the repair's been even cheaper for them so they can make as much money as they can. But if that's what you want, you can get a good deal on an iPhone here, definitely. Okay, so we're here in a phone store now and you're gonna show us the different iPhone models that we have here in Pakistan. So this is an 11, right? iPhone XS Max. XS Max. XS Max. Oh, yeah, kitne ka hai? This is 135,000. 135,000. 1.35 lakh. It's in very, very, very good condition. But yeah, second hand, na? Yeah, this is second. Yeah, well, a 12, eh? Yes. 12 Pro Max. Acha, 12 Pro Max. This is, a, this is the latest iPhone. 12 yeah. Pro Max. 2 lakh 15,000. Great, and they've fixed the back, so someone's dropped it, hey na? Yeah. Someone's dropped it and they've repaired the back of this iPhone. Looks fine though, there's no scratches around the outsides, screen is in good condition. How much brand new? Uh, 2 lakh 35 pounds. Okay, so you're getting like a slight discount on it being second hand. I would bargain and ask for a better price, to be honest. I'm sure you can, I'm sure you can get him down. All right, let me tell you a bit about how to shop safely here. If you're game to come here and buy something, whatever you buy, if it's new or secondhand, before leaving the store, test everything in it and make sure it's working. Don't leave the store with a broken product because once you've given your money to somebody, it's very, very hard to get it back. It's very, very hard to get a refund or anything once you've left the store, okay? That is what I've learned from experience, unfortunately. And the system here is mostly cash and no warranty. It's hard to use a credit card here so then you can, you know, cancel that transaction later if, if they're screwing around. But you can't do that here. You have to pay in cash mostly. And even if you're buying a brand new item, open it in the store and just check that it's not refurbished, okay? It's very easy to repack an iPhone and put the plastic over it. It's very, very easy to do that, okay? So just make sure the new product you brought is brand new and they're giving you a warranty if you're buying new. Now you can buy new without a warranty and so you'll get a discount on that if it has no warranty. It just means it's been illegally imported and it's, it's not, haven't paid tax on it and it's not, it's not authorized from Apple. So yeah, then you should be asking for a discount if you're not getting a warranty with a brand new product here and you should also be a bit, a bit skeptical. So what I'm saying is really know what you're doing here before buying something. If you wanna just play it safe, go to a properly branded and official store and buy your phone new and you'll get the warranty that way. This place is really, really for, for experts and people who know how to check for issues of electronics. I met a subscriber just before too. It was awesome. He was very nervous. No need to be nervous. But uh, he told me he wants a gaming PC but his parents won't let him. I'm sure you guys can all relate to that, right? But now I have to go to Zach's house and I'm gonna come back tomorrow morning and get my fixed Bluetooth headset. Let's see if they fix it and what happens tomorrow morning. So actually one week has passed and I'm here with Oves. He is my new bro from Sahiwal and I've become part of his family now. And it's such sweet people. And uh, we're going back now to Hafiz Center to pick up my Bluetooth headset and to buy like a few other little things that I need here on my trip. So yeah, let's keep this vlog going. And I've had the flu. We've both had the flu for the last week. so. Haven't done much in the last few days, but now we're feeling good enough to get out and uh, finish this vlog. And this guy who's fixing my Bluetooth headset, just look at what he writes. 
we will have a cup of fantastic tea, inshallah. He is still trolling us. Let's go and see what he's got to say and let's pick up that Bluetooth headset and see if he's done a good job fixing it. But bro, like everything you're seeing in the windows here, the laptops, the iPads, they're all refurbished and made to look brand new. But it's all, it's all second hand. Maybe repack also. Yeah, yeah, and they repack it. See, they put this like, um, they put this like cellophane on, like they've, like they've re-wrapped it. Okay, say bye. Wait, you Sab theek hai? Shukran Allah. Chai, Kaysay. Chai, chai, fantastic. Your device is fantastic. Yeah, Kaysay. Looks good. This has been fixed in here, so that was the issue. It's got a new yeah, micro USB. I'm just testing it now. I've paired it to my phone and tested that it charges, and yeah, the job is done. And the point I wanted to make by getting this fixed was. Here in Pakistan and in India, people get things repaired, not like overseas where something breaks and we just throw it away, simply because in our countries, it's too expensive to get, you know, a USB port replaced. It's just, it's just not going to happen in our countries for, you know, a good price. And I mean, these guys haven't given me a good price. It was, it's 3,000 rupees for the repair. And uh, it should be a lot more because all they had to do was take out that micro USB port that I broken and replace it with another one. It's just a little bit of soldering, okay? So yeah, I love how people recycle and reuse here in Pakistan and in India. And we save money. Every rupee matters. Tea's come. It's good. Not too much sugar in there, bro. Just, you gotta be so smart to shop here. Okay, because they'll try every trick in the book on you, selling you refurbished laptops as new, refurbished phones as new, or, you know, boxes that are opened, trying to sell you that for a new price. So yeah, it, it, the quote is really true. Um, this is the best place if you know what you're doing and the worst place if you don't. <laughs>